Hi there, and welcome to the Reach Pro tutorial. In this video, we're going to walk through the central features that you can access right away from the main panel. We'll also take a look at some of the hidden built-in features that might not be immediately obvious when you first open the tool. So let's start with the foundation of Reach Pro. The entire tool was built around a powerful search bar that sits at the heart of everything. This search bar allows you to quickly launch After Effects commands, apply your effects and presets, find scripts you've installed, access the tool's built-in features, and even search for expressions. Essentially, it's your gateway to everything Reach Pro has to offer. And here's something really convenient. All of these items that you access through the search bar can be bookmarked. So if there are commands or features you use frequently, you can bookmark them for even faster access. Now, at the same level as the search bar, right at the top of the user interface, you'll find several other useful tools. There's the expression editor, which we'll dive into in more detail later. You can also purge your disk cache directly with a single click, which is always handy when you're running low on space and it operates windowlessly. With this shortcut, you can create a snapshot on the fly of whatever's currently displayed in your composition view. My two cents. Zoom in at 100% for the high resolution PNG file. The settings panel is also up here, and that's where you can customize the appearance and size of the tool to match your workspace. Just below the search bar, you'll find a convenient anchor point mover displayed in a row. Then, you'll find your speed graph. This is a really helpful feature for applying easing to your selected keyframes. From the speed graph, you can access the 10 most common easing presets, and you can fine-tune them to get precisely the curve you're looking for. You can also fetch and apply easing. The top arrow retrieves the values from your currently selected keyframes, and the bottom arrow applies either those retrieved values or the current in and out values in your speed graph. Now let's talk about the 27 most common features that Reach Pro presents as icons. These run from the top left to the bottom right of the panel and are designed to provide one-click access to workflows that would generally require multiple steps, starting with Swap Fill and Stroke. This lets you swap or toggle the fill and stroke colors of your selected shape layers. Next is the Loops Toolkit. These three icons provide shortcuts for all loop types. You can access different variations using the Alt and Shift modifier keys. Then there's our Duplicate Keys feature, which duplicates your selected keyframes at the playhead position. There is now a shortcut for it since After Effects 2025. However, we decided to keep this useful shortcut. Mirror Keys reverses or mirrors your selected keyframes after the playhead. Crop and Precomp is a workflow accelerator. It crops and precomposes selected layers all in one go. Unprecomp does the opposite. It extracts layers back out from a precomp into your current composition, where your CTI is. The Caps Kit enables you to toggle between stroke caps and joins, offering round, butt, and bevel options. Moving on, there's the Solid feature, which adds a solid layer under your selection. You can choose white, black, or a custom color. The Trimmed Adjust layer does exactly what it sounds like. It adds a trimmed adjustment layer above your selection. The Shifter launches the Stagger tool, which lets you offset layers. You can even offset them based on their label colors. Merge and Split lets you either split or merge your selected shape layers, depending on your needs. Bake and Unbake is interesting. It converts expressions to keyframes when you need them baked. Faux Null creates a shape layer helper. If you hold Shift while using it, it will automatically parent your selected layers to the faux null. The Centerer centers your selected layers inside your composition. One click, and it's done. The Resizer fits your selection to the width, height, or both dimensions of your composition. A click to replace shortcuts, so fewer shortcuts to memorize. The Rasterizer toggles continuously rasterized throughout your entire project, helpful for animators. Guides Around adds guides around your objects and their anchor point. The Grids Kit distributes your selected layers onto configurable grids. The Expression Remover does exactly what it's supposed to do. It removes expressions from your selected layers. The Resetter turns your layers into their default state, removing effects, keyframes, and expressions. IntelliRenamer is an innovative tool that renames your selected shape layers based on their actual content and color. 
Cut Text launches a utility to slice text layers by words, characters, or lines with just a single click. The Reach Pro Effector sets up an effector which affects any property you choose. New Order reorganizes and cleans your project structure automatically. And finally, Paste Image from Clipboard does what you'd expect. It pastes an image directly from your clipboard into After Effects. Now, let's focus on the Expression Editor, as this is a compelling feature that Reach Pro provides. The Expression Editor gives you a dedicated space where you can display and store all of your expressions. When you want to work with an expression, you simply select it from the list in the dedicated panel, and you can edit it right there. In the text area, you benefit from a modern JavaScript formatter, which makes writing and reading expressions much more pleasant. You can name or rename your expressions to keep them organized. You can also select a default property for each expression, which means you can apply it instantly whenever you want to use it. Or, if you prefer more flexibility, you can choose any as the property type, which lets you apply the expression to whatever property you have selected at the time. The tool actually comes with some expressions already provided, so you can use those right away, edit them to suit your needs, or delete them if you don't need them. Next, let's talk about the Align tool. You can display this feature not as a replacement for After Effects' built-in Align panel, but when you want to align objects to the first selected object. That's a slightly different option than what the standard panel offers, and it can be really useful in certain situations. What's nice is that no additional steps are required to align your layers. It's all very straightforward. By the way, this tool can also be handy when you're aligning some 3D layers. It bypasses the classic restriction that After Effects has typically had with alignment. However, it's not explicitly designed for aligning 3D objects in space, so use it with caution in such scenarios. The Pathfinder feature nearly functions as an extension itself. You can use it and apply the native Pathfinder options to a single layer, or, by selecting two shape layers, extend these features to all relevant options available in Illustrator. The Paragraph tool is optional in Reach Pro. It's provided mainly to prevent you from having to keep After Effects Paragraph Panel permanently displayed. Since every tool in Reach Pro appears by default, you have the option through the settings to include or exclude the Paragraph tool from your user interface based on your preferences. Next up is the CTI Mover feature. This allows you to decide exactly how many frames you want to jump forward or backward in your timeline. This becomes particularly helpful when working with exotic frame numbers, such as 7 frames at a time, rather than the standard increments. To wrap up the main interface, there's a slider at the bottom for zooming in and out of your composition. And right next to it, there's a magnifier icon that will display your comp at exactly 100% scale with a single click. Now, Let's take a look at around 30 other features that are provided with Reach Pro. These aren't displayed as icons on the main panel, but they're accessible through the search bar and provide a lot of additional functionality. Behind your selected text layers. Disable errors, finds, and disables broken expressions in your composition. Copy match names, copy property match names to your clipboard, which is helpful when you're writing expressions and want them to be compatible in all languages. <laughs> and there's a lot more beyond these features. So that's Reach Pro in a nutshell. Thanks for watching, and happy motion design. Cheers!